What's up guys? I am back this in the midweek here because there's a few things that I wanted to do and finish in this project that I didn't get done in the first video and next week I want to start on the new section, right? So in the first video I wanted to do the header and the first section and I only got the header done so like let's get let's get that first section done right now. I'm going to call this video like 1.2 or something like that because section 2 is going to be uh, episode 2. Anyhow, um, let's talk about this section. So what I wanna do is have each of these sections have like a common spacing and feel. So this first section is actually gonna be kind of critical because just like CSS, you define these things and then use them later. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to drag out this section here and to the body. And now a section in Webflow is that 100% container it in and con, and container <laughs> it's funny i'm using the words container in webflow means that it's constricted in width and it kind of floats to the middle so i want every one of these sections one two three to be in a in the section block and i'll give that section block a class like home dash section and then I'll reuse this styling for each one of them so they have a consistent look and spacing. And right now I need the spacing is to get out from under that beard. So I'm gonna drag up on this margin control, drag out maybe, let's do 80 pixels. 80 pixels, get out from under that beard. It's hard, I know, the beard is ominous. It gets in the way, but it's worth it. So we have a home section, let's drag out a container. Um, and inside of that container, we can give it a class of what, what this class was. It's called class container. So if I give the, this container, then it will, see right now, and if I give this the container, it will, can let's see, it'll, yeah, it'll have the paddings that I put on the other one early, so we'll, we'll maintain that same kind of like vertical rhythm. And in that container, let's drag out a heading, a headline and we'll say one dot about the two, this is Lois's copy, two dudes in the cantina. And if you guys are not familiar with um, the cantina, the cantina is the place where we record our podcast. It's outdoors when we invite guests, we all sit in the backyard around a table and like hang out <laughs> and record it. It's, it's pretty great. So let's, let's change this to like an H2. Because it's not quite the site title, which I usually reserve for an H1, but a section title is a good H3. And like, um, you know, like a, like a sidebar is good for an H3. That's my opinion. That's just kind of like how I've been doing it for years. It doesn't really mean anything. So let's say, go and style all the H2 headings. Um, okay, first of all, let's get some color here. And let me pick that color here. For the H2s are gonna be this, this dark, deep purple color. They can be size uh, 32 is fine, but I wanna spread out the font a little bit right here. Let's do some tracking, one pixel's good. Um, that looks pretty good. What if we did a font size, or font weight, not bold, but just like normal? Hmm, no, I like it bold. Good call, Los. All right, let's drag out two paragraphs. Here's a paragraph. Put it inside of that container. And let's drag out another one. Paragraph. And these are already lorem, and my designer did not specify. Like, like if you read this, it looks good right here, but if you read it, it's just like, you know, he got it from like some like article or something. So it's not really intentional um, copy. So I'm gonna put the, both these paragraphs inside of the container, which they didn't go when I dragged them into. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this container flexed? Okay, this container is not flexed. Is this container flexed? This container is not flexed either. Huh, okay. Um, for paragraph tags, I want, let's see, there's 10 pixels at the bottom here. Let's put 20 on there. And for this H2, let's go back to it and do the padding and sizing here. We have 20 at the top. We want to make that zero. 
and we want to put a 20 in the bottom. Now it has a little bit more of a genuine rhythm. In this section here, maybe it needs, let's go up to the home section. It needs a little bit more than 80. Let's just try 100. Okay, that looks good. That looks good-ish. This paragraph tag can be a little bit, um, font size could be 16, that's good. And the, let's see, we have pixels here, a dash, okay. If you, <laughs> this is cool. So you can select the, the, um, the unit right here and it can go to M's or percents. Um, line height has a, a dash, so if you put, um, no units on a line height. It's just a multiplier of what the um, the the height of the text is. It's kind of like saying m, but let's just say 1.6 to get that nice line height. Let's put 1.8. There we go. So it's a pretty good line height there. Looks pretty good. Is this a specific font color? Let me change that color here. And right there. There you go, I like that. I like that color. All right, how are we doing? Okay, next thing we need is a video. Video, and there we go, drop it in there. You can just set a, a video URL here. Let me just grab one of my uh, dev tips URLs or YouTube videos. And let's do, let's do one of these vlogs. Let's check out our vlogs. What, what good vlog do we have here? I like the colors of this um, thumbnail. So we'll say, Save link, copy link address, and then you just put the whole link address here in the video right here. And it's thinking, return, there we are. Ooh. Hmm, it's pretty nice. So the whole, the video just shows up and oh, it, it's the, it's a part of the playlist too, which is cool. And I can play it in line. Let me go to preview. Can I play it in line? Yeah, looks like I can. Good morning, everyone. Oh, sleepy Trav. Woo, I don't do that anymore. Let's refresh so I don't have to look at my face. <laughs> All right, okay, cool. So next is this join the newsletter button down here. Let's see if we got like a button command or a button like thing. Here's a button. Put that in in here. Put it in the container. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. I'm gonna put a class on here. It's a special class. I'll call it newsletter newsletter dash button and newsletter button yeah okay and the thing is this needs to be uh, text centered right no its parent does maybe I can put a div block here and then move the button into the div block and on the div block go text dash center and then go text center. Okay. And I also want to put on the button, this is newsletter button. I want to add um, just 20 pixels of margin top. Maybe actually more. How much did Los put here? He had 50. Okay, 50. And we want the padding to be a little bit more extreme, maybe like uh, 25, 25, and 50. The button text should be 
join our newsletter. Oops. And it's this purple here. Copy. And the background color. Display background. Here we are. Good. And the padding should be a little bit more aggressive here too. Let's just say 20 and 20. And the font size can be 18, I think. And letter spacing, one, two. Oh, it says join out newsletter. Join our newsletter. And and that looks like pretty good, except for these proportions are a little wrong. So right here, the designer said uh, about 50 pixels from that top here and about 40 pixels in between. So let's go back to the paragraph here. And how many paragraph we said bottom margin was 20 let's make it 30 and then we'll just say for the video the video class is going to have margins of 20 and well not 20 i guess magic Oh, okay, they're using that. Fifty. And let's do fifty here too, and then remove it from that button. Okay. Cool, that looks a little bit better. Um How much did he actually plan for here? 150? And I gave it like 80 or something? Home section. 100, okay, 150. There you go, that's a little bit better. And I also noticed that this is white and I chose gray for some reason. Let me reverse that, get that back to white. Uh, just zero it out. And then we have this drop shadow here, which just come looking at it, like I get it, it's all right, but what if we didn't have any drop shadow at all? How about that? See, that looks just as fine, right? When we scroll down, why don't we keep this header fixed and then add that drop shadow on scroll? Let's try to do that in another video, but this is gonna be pretty much all I wanted to do like in this quick video, and hopefully you guys have a good middle of the week, and I'll see you on Monday for episode two. Thanks for watching. Keep on hacking, all that stuff. Goodbye.